think you're being filmed. <laughs> Ja, daar is die vieze dode nou, First of all, let me, th let me ask you this. What did you think? Um, so the regulations, uh, I don't know if you read them yourself or other people. What do you think about them? Too complex? Are they uh, well, stupid? Very, no, I think they're very sensible. Sensible, yeah. yeah. Um, because obviously, when we are normalized, yep. Non STV zone. Yeah. If anybody uses this, in, we don't encourage people to use these on the road. Yeah. Uh, other than on a very low setting, because they are basically. Yeah. Very you, you, you get, you get. Yeah, I see that in in London, but especially with strobing. If they strobe yeah. and they are on a high power level, then as a pedestrian, I'm already blinded. So. <laughs> I think it will be that will be uh, regulated, and it should be. Yeah, we Pro don't have yeah. a stroke, we have a flash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, and we don't yeah, you mean uh, pu uh, pulsating in intensity? Yeah, that it does, to, doesn't get to zero? We don't get it right off, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just yeah that's that's a lot better. I saw that yeah. in the... Um, it's, it's a bit strange, so I analyzed... I had a look the, at this on my uh, lab power supply and on the battery, the Lupina. Yeah. And it has a um, DRL. And str it's strange, but it doesn't seem to comply with the regulations of ECE R87. So it's odd because it's pulsates, but also it doesn't have the uh, surface area that it should. So I'm not sure what that is about. Perhaps they they say in the, in the regulation something like apparent illuminated area. So perhaps the outline is already enough. Right. But in any case, it was pulsating, but not completely on off and then I felt yeah it's not so bad as as completely on off but then you get really blinded. Mm. Yeah well we've never <coughs> had yeah. a complete on off. Yeah. Uh, because it's to be honest, on the original mountain bike lights it was because if you Yeah you don't see anything. It's too hard, it's too harsh on you. Yeah you don't you see but you also you don't see anything for a certain time on yeah. the road. And it's just you can't ride with that. No. You can't you know, as a user forget it about other users, you can't mind that, so there's no benefit. In the city, so, you can get away with it if there's enough street lighting. Yeah. And it, but yeah. then if you go into a, down a dark street or something... D yeah, 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 the yeah. Light, then it doesn't work at all. Well, yeah. because we don't go right off, you can still see where you're going. Yeah. And it's not too harsh to be on off. Yeah, 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 exactly. And so there's a benefit exactly. to the rider and a benefit to the other road riders. Yeah. Not to be too aggressive. Yeah. Yeah, so... That's always been the way we've been. Uh, yeah. Um, and as far as the, you know, the, the question of STV, you know, we, we have our Strada range, which hopefully you've seen. I've, which, I've seen it, but I've not experienced I've only had the, um, the what is the, the, the prototype of the Optics S. Optics, okay, so so this for the STV zero, oh. yeah. But our, our Strada range has always had two different beams. Yeah. Uh, one circular beam, yeah. normal beam, yeah. and one flat beam. Yeah. And we've been saying that for years. You know, and people claim, oh, we've got the first uh, <laughs> dippable light. You know, we've done that for five or six years. Um, and with a, with, a remote, with a remote switch like this, this is where this Oh, yeah, yeah, so nice. Just like yeah. a normal vehicle, motorbike, whatever, you can just dip. Yeah, I don't know what, it's, what is going on, but in the USA, for example, I don't know if there's people who say that, that they're the first are from the USA, but there you see... I've seen such stories. Yeah. yeah, we made a beam with cutoff for bicycle lights. Yeah, what do you mean? That's that's not new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, we just live with it. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't really affect us. But um, so yeah, we've been doing that for free. Yeah. It doesn't have the uh, the true cut that the STB. Yeah, does the, you mean the very strong cutoff? Yeah. yeah. That's it. So it just makes the beam. So we, we, on the side, we'll show you. We, we shut down the. the the long seeing circular tight beam, yeah. and we swap more to this. Leave the other one on the bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So your main power goes across yeah. this horizontal beam, yeah. which is a flat, yeah. very, very thin beam, yeah. which is, in, in, in reality, works very well. It works very well, but also I found uh, so long ago when I started doing comparisons, I found that a cutoff beam is about three to five times as effective as a circular beam. Um, so I mean, with three, you need three to five times the amount of lights with the circular beam to get the same type of illumination of the road as with a flat beam, because so much gets lost or goes into directions that, you, for on-road riding at least, you don't need. Yeah. Uh, well, exactly. But, um, most of our powerful lights are 
a usable off road. Yeah. And then you do want to get a fairly tight beam that sees a long way. Yeah. Because you want to travel. Yeah. Fast yeah. 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 Terrain. Downhills. Yeah. Yeah. So this that this is the STV. This is our um, our Stradas, and you can see there's two different lenses. Yep. This one actually is a very flat beam. Yeah. Um, can I show you? Yep. So. Yeah, you see it. So that's that. I mean, it doesn't. And then. That's, a that's the yeah. That's for far away. So when you put it on low, that one, the, the horizontal flat beam is emphasised. Yeah. And that one's just shut right down. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah, yeah. We will be increasing the contrast on that this year, um, and that's supposed to be getting closer to STV zero. Yeah. But we're not. We're never going to claim this is STV zero. It can't be because it hasn't got that sharp cut. But. If you're, you're going to make STV digital lights anyway, so why continue with this? Do you think there is an advantage in some way? For some, uh, for, for mountain biking possibly? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, for, normal, for, for, for countries that aren't pushing STV today, yeah. this, is, this works better. This works better, okay. Because it's like a car. You know, your, foot, your main beam is, is yeah. half a long yeah, 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 yeah. season into yeah. distance. Well, the STV zero regulations do restrict it. It's yeah, but you can use t these days a high beam with it that you switch along if there's no oncoming traffic. Right. So well, would that be an option? Well, that's what this one. Will, these options will yeah. come forward with this because these are very powerful. Yeah. Uh, normal mountain bike kind of quality. Yeah. And power. Yeah. And whereas this obviously is your flat beam. Yeah. So that light is. Suggest that, you know, in the same vein, you'll say. But you're st you're, you still think this one is better um, for, well, for, for mountain biking? For general use. For general use. Probably. Probably. This, this becomes a bit of a beast. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, it's but quite. It's, it's a bigger, it's a less, it's, um, it does its job very well, but it has to be that kind of scale to achieve that. Yeah. And this, these will be similar. And nearly as powerful. And of course, you and prefer, yeah, I, I see. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a bit smaller. There's also a big, uh, big advantage. I see. Yeah. And what about but because I see most of your lights have built-in the battery built-in. Yes. So you purposely don't go for the separate option. No, never have done. Never. We have uh, well the advantages of uh, durability. You know, Definitely. Anything, anything yeah. yeah. True. Is, True. Is, Corrosion, etc. Yeah. And that goes back to what we first. We were first using them ourselves yeah. in doing 24-hour racing. Yeah. That you could guarantee your light was going to have a struggle during the race. Yeah. Nine times out of ten, it was the cable or the connector. Yeah. And then, I mean, technology's got better, connectors got better, cables got better. But then you've got a separate battery pack. You'd strap that on your bike somewhere else. That would rub away your frame. You know. It's true. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's always an asshole. This, yeah. It was like, Cable-free. Cable-free, okay. We're never going to power it separately. All right. For this whole core range. We have done a few things with head torches and stuff with cables, but the core bike range is not, does not have cables. I was thinking perhaps you could make something like this with a clip-on clip -on separate headlight for uh, uh, the non cutoff, for example. Non, sorry. For the non cutoff, so you so okay. you have uh, something like this, for example, with a STV zero lens, yeah. and then something with a connector that you clip on to the side. Possibly. Then it would not be so big, perhaps. <laughs> I think we're going to have to do it. <laughs> these I mean, of course, the main thing, the main thing at the moment is to make sure that yeah, we yeah. take this to market. But this, um, yeah, this is pretty big. But I saw some guy had it beneath his stem. That was a quite nice solution. But then you would need to. You can't do that with a non cutoff beam unless you can mount this at both sides. Yeah, well, will will you do that? Or that is it possible? Uh, not yet. Okay. That would have to be orientated. Yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. All our other lights you can flip. Yeah, yeah of so course. Uh, the symmetrical you can flip, but if you put it on top. But it would be nice below the stem, something like this. Well, we could. Yeah. If we, sold, if we machined it specifically yeah. to achieve that, basically, obviously, we'd we'll move, that, move that over here. Oh, you could put both in. Uh, yes, you could. You could yes. put a screw in and then put a cap on it. Or if it's anodized, then it won't corrode That's anyway. A good idea. That's a good idea. I'm glad you turned that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for Simon to say it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Because some of them we do. 
you know, we've got different fixing points on. Oh yeah, 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 so yeah. Either, either mount it yeah. inside or underneath. Okay. Yeah, yeah, nice. What? No, or it's for brackets, I think. That's the brackets. For, for the brackets. Sorry, yeah. We are actually on the but if you have a, if you have specific brackets like that, then you, then you can possibly put it up or below by changing the brackets. Then you yeah, don't need to change <laughs> anything else. Yeah. On on these ones, you can you can angle it down anyway, so the bracket on the bar would spin down, and then you can fasten. But it I guess you could also it will be underneath. rotate the brackets mm -hmm. and mount it then it below the yeah, yeah. below so the stem. Do With these, yeah, 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 exactly. But these are for the, um, the so the e-bike or pedelec, I guess. Yeah. That's a, this is actually a slightly different light, but you see, it very similar. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, yeah, not, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. Just a powerful so if you if you put it like this, the brackets, then you could ah, then it would perhaps get into the way of the handlebar. Well, there's different. It, yeah. it would need to be a little bit longer. Then you could put it like this, the brackets, and then rotate the right, the light, and then it would be below your handlebar. That's right. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can angle that down, and this can, you know, this is. Yeah, but it's now in the way. So it needs, needs to be a bit longer, perhaps, the brackets. Uh, yeah, these but these <coughs> bottles are actually moving back a bit. This is just a prototype. Yeah. Okay. These are moving back a bit to give us. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. If goes reality, goes there. Yeah. And in yeah. reality, on these ones, these are the MTB ones. You wouldn't want to do that anyway. You want to so keep it as high as possible the, away from dirt. On the smaller standard version, where it's only this part, yeah, then that's very easy because it's a small compact unit and you can spin it around underneath. But on the mountain bike, you're going to want to keep it central and in the you know so central to your bar this way vertically and horizontally. Okay, I thought perhaps you wanted to keep it as high as possible away from dirt. <laughs> quite clean the front of the bike, yeah. Though. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Not like the rear. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it's his early days. I'm sure it'll evolve yeah. and change as the years go by, like all our, all our other lights. But, and and your, your question of whether this will still be around in three years' time, this range, hard to tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard to tell. But fundamentally, um, it's the best road light. It's the best road light out there yeah. by anybody. You know, nobody else does a specific light like that. Yeah. Because you know your switch plugs into the back here. Yeah. As it does with others. Yeah. I mean, these can all be switched in the same way, but this comes with a remote switch that just uh, makes it very easy. You don't take your hands off the handlebars. So the switch is connected just to the to the charge. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Have you got? Yeah. We'll get one that just plugs in. So um, and every in all our, all the lights will work in the same way. Yeah. You can yeah. Use yeah. A yeah. Switch, but it comes standard. Yeah. It? So. It just makes it very easy, like a motorbike, to dip your eyes. Like yeah, you know, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, not. Uh, I should tr I should try one of those. Yeah, right. I've only tried the Optics S, as I mentioned. Compared them with the Lupina, and the Supernova, and that are, that you uh, well that Simon sent. Yeah. And Lupina is pretty good. Yeah. I like that. It's so similar to the to your lights. A little stricter cutoff, but it also runs at twice the power. It's not as efficient. It runs at uh, 12 watts, something like that. Yeah, it, and it's not as bright as they claim. No, the, it, it isn't. No. Uh, they say 1100 lumen, I think. They say at the uh, its lowest, they say 700. Oh. Yeah. At 6 volt. Yeah. It doesn't run, it runs at less than 500. That's weird because uh, when I measured it, I got to 12 watts, and it didn't matter if it was at six volts or at 12 yeah, volts. Yeah, same we can. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. So we don't. So there's no difference in output, whereas they claim that there is a difference. Yeah, that, that's yeah. weird. And they also say maximum 16 watts, but it's not coming to 16 watts at any voltage. Yeah, what was, what was no, no, it's weird. Yeah, something like 12. 12 watts, yeah. Well, yeah, I made a video of it, so like um, I. I I need to check, but it was, I think it's just below 12 watts at all ranges from 6 to 12 volts that I tested. Yeah. Yeah. This is the remote. The, so you'll see that that port, smart, it's called smart port, yeah. it does two things. One, you can charge, and the other thing is that you of can course. put accessories into it, so it does power out as well. So You can charge your phone, for example, or so, yeah. would you? Yeah, you can. Sure, yeah, for cable, yeah. with, with something like that with a big battery, that would yeah. be an interesting option. So now I've got the remote in and I can I change it. This is a really early. 
Yeah, the high volt, the high yeah. mode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, change it with the. Uh, yeah, oh, that's cool. This is one of the. Um, but uh, the, this is one of the first. Show the um, yeah the. The, the, hour reader. the screen. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's pretty nice as well. Yeah. That's a, I've not that's seen a that on. Benefit. I've not seen that on any other lights, but perhaps I have not looked it enough. Well, we have, we have we a patent. Okay. To, to to be able to show you on any setting that you've got. Program five. Our high is six hours. Low is fourteen. And what about cold? Temperature. Cold temperature dependent, yeah, because if you're going at uh, like zero degrees or minus degrees Celsius, uh, you, you don't use Fahrenheit in the UK, right? Celsius? Yeah, we use Celsius. Yeah. So um, then the battery usually dies fairly quickly. We, we, Does we it take that into we account? Only see a, so in reality, we only see that kind of difference if they've been used. Like at really cold temperatures, so when we're saying cold, like minus 15. One yeah. One of the one of, when you go back to say, why don't we use separate battery packs? Yeah, yeah. One of the benefits, one of the two um, other The light heats the battery. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So it keeps it warm. Yeah, yeah, I know that, yeah. We have people cycling in Alaska. Ah, um, yeah, yeah, okay. So, so it uh, sort of helps the. Um, oh, definitely. For, for the, but it, and of course, the temperature depend, uh, temperature protection. It doesn't really interfere with, fear with that. I mean, the, the LED won't overheat. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Got, so it's enough. So it's control. just enough to keep the battery warm and not enough uh, of an issue to make an overheat. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. And, that, and that's another benefit of having yeah. the whole light integrated. Yeah. Uh, with it because you, you've got more control over the thermal. Yeah, that's it's true. Going, it's going warm, it's true. Know, yeah. This becomes a heat sink. Yep. Whereas on other lights, <coughs> such as like this, um, this you know, this has got more filling than, than this. Yeah, I noticed with this 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 uh, this Lupina light got really hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah ridiculous, exactly. isn't it? Yeah. Um, so we have the ability to to spread the heat yeah. out over a big yeah, area. Yeah, 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 yeah. More efficiently. Bigger heat sinks again, always that's, better. That's one of the reasons. We are, we are some of you know, the brightest, the most efficient out there because we can control temperature both better than most. Yeah, people. that's nice. I mean, you know, we are, we have this. These lights have two thermistors on them, yeah. two temperature measurement systems. You have it with the battery and the LED. We have one at the back on the PCB and one on the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. LEDs. So we, you know, we use a lot of information yeah. to keep them at their optimum yeah. temperature, and that's used on the reflex on the reflex yeah, mode. I'll show you on that. So this is in reflex, obviously, but there. Just leave it and it will start to, to dim. To dim. <laughs> and that's, to do with, that's partly to do with temperature. Yeah. And yeah. partly to do with gradient. It's usually lots of different yeah. factors to, to, yeah. make, to make yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, temperature measurement is key to a lot of the uh, operation of the light. Yeah. Not just, not just efficiency, but you know, the fact that it does automatic things based on temperature. Yeah. And if you push an, you know, you probably know, if you push an LED too hard, you go over, over the top. It starts absorbing, taking more power and actually putting out it's less. It's almost, yeah, it gives, gives not much. You need to put in a lot of extra power for very little extra light. Yeah. yeah. The sun is, you yeah. Actually, it starts to drop off. Yeah, but then that's, I think, the, the region where the LED gets damaged. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Soon after that, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, you know, we've been controlling that. And yeah. we spent a lot of time at the beginning yeah. finding those peaks yeah. not going beyond that. Yeah. So we, that, don't, we don't push, really push the LEDs to you. No, to, uh, to no. Where you these, yeah, these, 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 are, you know, the bigger lights. See, that's shut like that. Okay. Yeah. Oh yes, there's quite a lot dimmer. Yeah. Now that's just a, the accelerometer. Reflex. The accelerometer yeah. re re realized because if you was if you put your bike down. Oh, top, perhaps. Oh, okay. That's also taken into account. Yeah, you're, yeah. he's not. He's not yeah, uh, he's running the bike. Moving. We'll just put it yeah, off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then obviously it will get brighter. I mean, you can show into the. Um, you park your bike, forget to put it out. Rig. Yeah. As it gets brighter and cooler. Yeah. It's, it's, a t it's a combination of uh, gradient and temperature that runs the reflex. That's nice, yeah. What, what was this thing? You put this into here? You yeah, yeah, so it? that's just a. But this is for the little helmet lights, but we have a fully cabled version. So in the little helmet lights that you have here, yeah. you, can, you can put a little rear. So it's just a little five lumen, but it's. Well, it's enough to get you home. You go home from the trail. This, this light? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
But you, but you mean this is just a, uh, to, to see that it works, or do no. you mean there's a cable no, 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 to it? No, no, no just no, this. Okay. No, no, so you just put this in your little. Um, so all the Diablos. So on our joystick Diablo yeah. and Axis, they're made to wear on the helmet. Yeah. Oh, I see. So you ah, just yeah, have yeah, yeah. So you so, so and you, and it's red because it works better uh, to see very low intensity lights in red. It's it's uh, so it's you, or it's for you for, for the traffic behind yeah, you. Yeah, it's just for the traffic behind you. Oh, I see, only, I see. So you, so you still rely on your own yeah. night vision, but you, that's that's for the safety for traffic behind yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I and you, see. And you don't at the end need of a, end of an evening when you're riding home. Yeah. yeah. You've been mountain biking. This is a way, an easy easy way. That's, yeah. And that's pretty bright. It's five lumens. No, no, you don't need much light for you the taillights. On, on red, you don't need. At night, you no, you don't need. Don't, which don't is, need which much. is ultimately very surprising when you see companies. Uh, no, I think advertising uh, two hundred and fifty lumen really. <laughs> no, I think yeah, I, I've seen someone uh, on YouTube, and he said he was on a bike. A car came behind him, and he touched the bike, and he was complaining. And he went to the guy, and the guy said, "Yeah, I didn't see you." And he said, "Well, you can't see me. You have got a strong light, etc." But it's really true. If you put out a uh, light from a point source mm -hmm. and distribute it via a lens, not distributing optic, that makes it like it appears from a bigger area, then really you can get blinded with. Uh, so you just like that. Yeah, 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 like that. That's nice. No, you did. You, all the, all, I think all the um, uh, STVZO tail lamps, they run at, some of them run at like 0 0.06 watts. And it's plenty bright with mm. a big, big optic. So 0 0.06 watts, I don't know how many uh, lumens it is, but it's not much. 100 lumen per watt would be like six lumens or something like that. Or sh that's five. That's five. Six. That's, mm. And that's a fire on a d bigger distributed optic, so it appears less bright, but you see a bigger surface. Mm -hmm. But you don't need more. No, no. Yeah, I mean, this is just a very convenient little thing to just have in, yeah. in your pocket or in your, on your. Just think, oh my gosh, I've been out too long. I should have a real light to take the last hot, hot one kilometer to go home. And you can have a real light. Yeah, and be, yeah, and yeah, be yeah, 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 yeah. That's nice. Nice. Sorry, they're working on the roof. No, it's okay. <laughs> 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 Just sit tomorrow. He's going to be sat there and he's going to have that dude sat on his cabin. What did you do? Tighten down the bottom. You have a leak. Ah, a leak, yeah. I oh, also I had a leak a few days ago, um, this week. It was stormy all the time. Finally found it. A really weird place. And your house? Yeah, my house. Yeah. But it was at a, there was a flat. Ah, well, it doesn't matter, but it was a weird place. Finally found it. Yet yeah, it was it was stormy and rainy for three weeks or so. It was not cool. Uh, very <laughs> annoying. That's not damage, isn't it? Um, yeah, but uh, it's also an issue in the Netherlands. Everything is flat, and there are not many trees. You know, I told uh, Simon I think a bit about it. Um, if trees in the Netherlands, uh, roads in the Netherlands, uh, he knows. He should know. Uh, like, so you have a road and then you have a tree ten meters further, a tree. Tree. Oh, structured. <laughs> structured, but also no wind protection yeah. whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that's and if you're riding